ChatGPT has been around for a while and it's actually a new way of living. For those who are not aware of ChatGPT, it is a language model developed by OpenAI. It is trained on vast amount of text data from the internet and can generate human-like responses when given a prompt or a question. It has changed the way of learning and especially for programmers, the way of coding. ChatGPT has answers for almost all of the questions, whether it be right or wrong. Hello everyone, welcome to Code Easy, where we talk about programming and help beginners to make their coding journey easy. Today we will talk about ChatGPT in programming and things that beginners need to avoid while using ChatGPT. Before that, let's see if beginners should use ChatGPT or not. What do you guys think? Comment down and share your thoughts. Now let's get into it. I personally think that beginners should use ChatGPT and make the best out of it. We have a very powerful tool in front of us for free. And if we don't use it, there is no point of technological advancement. Any new tool or invention looks like a threat at first because it reduces human effort and people somehow behave like it's going to replace them. Yes, it does to some extent, but on the other hand, it opens door to thousand opportunities. Let me give you an example. When calculator was invented, it sparked a heated debate among educators and mathematicians. At the time, calculators were seen as a threat to the traditional method of learning math, which focused on manual computation and memorization of formulas. But now it has become an integral part of our life. The educators and mathematicians who saw it as a threat now can solve more bigger and complex problems with ease. I find this quite interesting. Let me know in the comment section if the protest done by mathematicians and educators was in fact silly or it was actually valid. Now let's get into our topic. Should we beginners use ChatGPT to learn programming? If we should, then what is the proper way of using it? At first, let me ask you something. If I ask you to make a form in HTML and if you are just starting to learn HTML and have no idea about forms, can you do that? Of course you can because you have ChatGPT. You just open ChatGPT, ask it to make a form and simply copy and paste it in your code. Mission complete. This is exactly what you need to avoid. Copy and paste. As I always say, coding is an exciting journey but it gets rough and tough as you keep learning. The only way to not quit and keep going is by learning continuously, having a goal and clear roadmap of what you are going to achieve by learning to code. If you haven't already watched my previous videos on how to learn coding in 2023 and clear front-end roadmap, then please feel free to browse through my channel or I'll put the link of those videos in my description as well. Coming back to our topic, the most important thing is to learn the basics of whatever programming language you want to learn. With ChatGPT, you might skip that part. You might think ChatGPT can solve all your problems. Why need to waste time on learning the basics? Trust me. This might help you in short term to create a cool app or website, but in long term, you might find yourself nowhere. You will have your portfolio, but no knowledge. So what I recommend is when you ask ChatGPT to write something, instead ask it to write the code along with explanation and what each step is doing. What are the syntax and what are the prerequisites before learning that particular thing? Read through those explanation and instead of copy pasting the code, Try to understand the syntax first and try to write the code yourself. Now, if you're stuck, then have a look at the code ChatGPT suggested and compare it so that you know what did you miss and what is the correct way of doing it. You can also ask ChatGPT where you can find those resources for more clarification if you don't understand the explanation given by ChatGPT. Trust me, if you follow this step, I guarantee that you will become a better programmer than what you were and have a better understanding of the fundamentals which will be helpful in long run. Always remember, fundamentals are the key to success and in some cases early success. Focus on long term goals rather than short term and keep learning. Don't stop practicing and if you ever feel like giving up, remember that failure is the key to success. If you stick till the end, I thank you for your dedication and commitment towards learning coding. Keep learning and keep coding. If you like this video, then don't forget to comment down, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more amazing tips like this.